Now we're going to talk about the extrema of the graph of a polynomial function. All right, if you need to see the generic review of a polynomial function, please make sure to check out that, uh, that other video. All right, so some notes on polynomial functions. The domain of a polynomial function is all real numbers. So in interval notation, that would be negative infinity to infinity. Okay. The graph of a polynomial function is a smooth, continuous curve with no sharp points. So, you know, nice and smooth like such, whatever. Um, there's no, nothing like that, no sharp points, and there can't be any breaks in it, so we can't be doing this, right? Nor can there be any asymptotes in it. And if you know what asymptotes are and all those things are, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. We'll get to them at a later date, all right? So over here... This is uh, our nice little polynomial function stuff that we're going to be playing with for the time being. All right, so let's talk about the extrema. So in general, the high and low points of the graph are called um, extrema. And they do have some separate names. So we'll talk about them in a minute. But we're talking about these points right here. This one down here. This one up here. And this one here. As well as this one over here. And this one the high and low points. So the, the turning points is another way to think about it, where the graph turns, where the graph changes from decreasing to increasing. This little point down here uh, is called an extrema. And when we change from increasing to decreasing, this little point again is called an extrema. Now we could do better than that. Extrema is the plural term. This point down here uh, is called a local minimum. a local minimum. So where the graph changes from decreasing to increasing, we have a local minimum, which means this one right here is also a local minimum, all right, as well as that one right there, all right, so that's the local minimum. So brilliantly enough, what do you think this one and this one are going to be called? That's right, local maximum. All right, so local. What that really means is, well, right around this this area, these x values right here, that's the highest y value. Local it means locally, right around this little neighborhood. All right, so uh, right around these x values right here, that's the lowest y value. So it's called a lo local min. So now there's another minimum and another maximum called the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum. And what that means is that we're looking for the absolute lowest point on the graph and the absolute highest point on the graph. All right, so looking at this one right here on the left, this point right here is called an absolute minimum. And I'm going to abbreviate minimum to MIN. So this point's a local minimum, and it's also an absolute minimum because it is the lowest point on the graph. What would be an absolute maximum for this particular graph? Well, since these arrows keep going forever, it goes off on to infinity. And so this particular graph on the left-hand side does not have an absolute maximum. All right, so over here, where we've got a local max and a local min, does this particular graph on the right-hand side have an absolute max or an absolute min? Everybody agree that it doesn't? Since this goes down forever, there's no absolute minimum. And since this keeps going up forever towards positive infinity, uh, there's no absolute max. So this graph over here on the right, make note, has no absolute, and we'll write it this way, no absolute extrema. So think of it that way. Absolute means absolutely the lowest point or absolutely the highest point on your graph. All right, so now let's go over and look at some with numbers. All right, so if this is the graph of a polynomial function, then negative uh, 4, 3 is called a what? Negative 4, 3, that point right there is a local max. The point, the local maximum point. Uh, so is 2, 6. Everybody see that? It's a local 
it's a local max, but it's also a what? An absolute max. Right, two six is absolutely the highest point on your graph, so it's called an absolute maximum. Right, that point. Negative two comma one, this spot right here, is a local min, local minimum, and this particular graph has um, no absolute minimum. All right. Now there's one other idea that we want to make sure we get across here, and that is the um, maximum, in this case, the maximum value of the function. All right, what's the maximum value of the function? Well, recall that the value of a function is the y part of the ordered pair. So if 2, 6 is the, is the absolute maximum point on the graph, then the maximum value of the function is just 6, the y part of that ordered pair. So remember, the value of a function is the y part of the ordered pair. Um, so some graphs will have um, maximum values, some graphs will have minimum values, some graphs will have neither maximum or minimum uh, values. All right, but that's, that's, how, that's what we're looking for. All right, we're looking for uh, uh, what are the ordered pairs for the max and the min, local max and local min, and uh, absolute max and absolute min, and then there's this idea of the value of the function. Okay. One other thing I want to mention now is that we're referring to um, negative 4, 3, and 2, 6 as local max, um, and negative 2, 1 as a local min. Uh, another word that you might see in some textbooks or in other classes or whatever is called relative max or relative min, right? And I'm just like it sounds, relative, relative extrema. Make note that relative extrema is just another way to say local extrema. Okay, it's relative to this area right here, local to this area right here, and so the max would be a six. All right, so I just want to point out the the other terminology. Local and relative mean the same thing. All right, let's make a note. The maximum number of local extrema of the graph of a polynomial function, and this polynomial function has degree n, then the maximum number of local extrema is n minus 1. Think about, um, think about y equals x squared. Right? That looks like that. How many local extrema does it have? It has 1, the vertex. Right? And you have, um, if you graph, say, y equals uh, x cubed minus 4x, you'll get something that looks like this, All right? and it has two extrema. It's got this local max and this local min. All right? And so the degree of the polynomial is 3, and the maximum number of, um, of uh, turning points, you can think of it that way, the maximum number of local extrema um, is 2. Right? Yes, y equals x cubed looks like this, and has neither a max nor a min, but we're talking about the maximum number of extrema it could have is one less than the degree of the polynomial. All right? Okay, so with that in mind, let's answer this question. What's the least possible degree of this function over here on the left? And we're assuming this is the graph of a polynomial function. All right, so what's the least possible degree of this function? Well, how many turning points does it have? Count the number of turning points. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six turning points, six local extrema. So the smallest degree that this function could be is seven. A seventh degree polynomial. Now that means it could be something higher, right? But the smallest the degree could be a seven. It can't be a sixth degree or a fifth degree or a fourth degree, something like that, because we have too many turning points going on here. All right, so that's it for extrema. Make sure you see the next video on the end behavior of a polynomial function, uh, which will also tie back into this concept that we're doing right here um, at the end. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.